I thought I would do a quick little Christmas tree and snowman just as a just as an idea of what I do when we when I do our Christmas um, our Christmas decorations the, uh, the both both the snowman and the Christmas tree are fantastic um, little projects for the beginner turner because you get to utilize the tools you can rough down you can practice your bevel rubbing cuts um, and everybody likes Christmas tree and snowman at Christmas whether you make them to sell at the um, at the craft fairs or whether you you just make them to gift as gifts to your family so this is a piece of you that I've got chucked in here it's held in the chuck at this end held on center this end um, and the speed is turned right down so we'll start by roughing down using a spindle roughing gauge Turn on, step out of the way, slowly bring the speed up. Now it's held firmly in the chuck at this end and it's held at, with the tail stock and the drive centre this end. Just need to make sure that you keep that tightened up at all times and you can turn the speed up because you know that it's fairly safe. So we're running at about 1200 RPM rest the gauge on the on the tool rest and just rub the bevel and then bring the handle up until it's cutting and always cut from the center to the outside and what we'll do is we'll just mark the the waste on here so this is where we'll pass off later on. Right, a little bit more just to take off there. But the spindle roughing gauge, as you can see, is a nice semicircle, so you can use all of that blade. You need to make sure that the tool, the tool rest is nice and close to the piece of work. Rub the bevel, bring the handle up to cut. You can roll it, cut on any part of the blade. There you go. So we'll do a Christmas tree first, I think. These are nice size to go on the uh, to hang from the Christmas Christmas tree as a decoration. So we'll just part off the trunk. You need to never try pushing the parting tool in all the way in one go because it will bind against the timber. Right, time to shake the pot, move over to the spindle gauge, the pot needs to be slightly smaller than the tree, so we'll just make a planing cut, round the top off a bit. Now you can always put a couple of cut lines in here to mark the mark the uh, some decoration on the 
pot and I like to use a bit of welding wire just to put some scorch lines in there as you can see these I've made some handles for these you don't want to be using the welding wire without any handles if it gets caught it's not worth thinking about right trunk cut pot done we we'll just shape the top now Now you can go back to spindle rough and gauge. You want to make a conical shape first. You can also use your spindle gouge and you just cut away that tip where the So because this is supported in the chuck, we can now take the tail stock away. I need to make light cuts now because there's no support at this end. But all we're doing is just taking away that bit of timber. There we go. Now because we've used the bevel supporting cut, and what I mean by that is that you're using the bevel supported on the timber to make that cut. You've got quite a nice finish on here. So you've got a choice. You can sand it and leave it like that. You can use a parting tool to cut branches in. Um, <laughs> uh, or you can uh, you can cut shapes into it. So I think we'll use the parting tool and cut some lines in here. Now to prevent it from binding, we just need to wiggle it a little bit. Just sharpen the tool. Right, sorry about that, there we go. You just want to wiggle the tool backwards and forwards slightly and this prevents it from binding and scorching the timber. You can support the timber to prevent the vibration. <laughs> Once you've done that you can sand. So apologies for the noise.
Right. A little bit of sand in sealer, and then we can give it a wax, pass it off. These do make lovely little projects because they're nice and easy. Use the orange nye web to denib the sanding sealer. Okay. Turn the speed back up. Micro crystalline wax stick. You can use wood wax 22 or the micro crystalline paste wax, but this is nice because it you can buff it off immediately and the micro crystalline has a higher melting point so it means that you don't get any finger marks on your nice bit of timber now when you undercut the base you just need to do a slight under when you cut part off, do a slight undercut. So that if you decide to stand it up and not hang it from a tree, it will always stand flat. There we go. So that's a Christmas tree, just need to cut the bottom off and give that a sand.